please arise and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Join me in 30 seconds of silence. I'm Taylor Sinkfield, and welcome to day 110 of Skypoint Media. I did find out from the NIAA as of five minutes ago that you are going to the postseason! They're going to let you guys play in the postseason! Postseason, coach! Congratulations to our first ever Varsity Girls Flag Football team. They are going to the playoffs. The NIAA reversed their decision. They decided to put the student need first. Congratulations, thank you to the NIAA. So our Varsity Girls Flag Football made the playoffs. They'll have a game, the first playoff game ever, this Saturday, February 11th at 2 p.m. at Arborview. Skypoint will be playing number three Arborview. First time ever, this is great. Tickets are digital and I've included a link to where you can buy tickets in the description of this video. Congratulations, Skypoint Girls Like Football, our first playoff game ever. Again, this Saturday, uh, February 11th, 2 p.m. at Arborview. Number six Skypoint versus number three Arborview. All right, guys, so we have a really cool and unique spirit day on Valentine's Day. You may wear pink, white, and red t-shirts only this is not a free dress day students may wear pink white or red t-shirts with jeans or you can just wear your regular polo and uniform there's no colored hair no colored bottoms there's no colored sweatshirts with just a little bit of pink on it with other stuff it is a hundred percent only t-shirts that are white pink or red only with jeans on that day or you can just wear your regular uniform polo with jeans Skypoint Boys Volleyball Info are intramurals in the Webster Ortho Gym Monday, February 13th and Tuesday the 15th from 5 to 7 and Friday, February 17th from 3 to 5. Tryouts will be Saturday, February 18th from 10 a.m. to noon. And if you would like more info, get on the Remind app, text at volley 987-81010. This Valentine's Day, Stuco is having a fundraiser. They are selling rubber ducks and stuffed heart dragons the 10th and the 14th of February. They can be sold at both lunches. Make sure to tell your friends and you're only selling it cash only. What's up everybody, Coach Shepard here. Just want to give a quick reminder about our track and field tryouts coming up February 18th. Make sure that if you're gonna be there, you have your Register My Athlete completed, you have your physical uploaded to Register My Athlete, and most importantly, you have your grades up. Keep them uh, above a 2.0 because if it's not above a 2, if your grade point average isn't above a 2.0, you can't try out. Good luck to our varsity dance team competing this Saturday at Green Valley High School. It's an all-day event and a $10 fee for entry. Hope to see you there. Attention upper level CTE students. The next CTE test you'll take is on Thursday, February 16th, and this test will cover your specific class from CTE. So video productions, graphic design, sports medicine, and teacher and training, get ready for your CTE test on Thursday, 16th, in the High School Student Center. Good luck. Boys Golf preseason meeting, February 16th at 2.30 p.m., room 112. We had a big turnout at the informational meeting, which was great. Only nine players can make the team, and only six players can play in the tournaments. There will be tryouts the week of February 20th. Get out and practice. Get out and play. Bring your A game to trials. If you have any questions, contact Coach Cleave. There's no school this Monday, February 13th for students. Again, students, you don't have school this Monday, February 13th. All teachers, however, need to report to school. This has been Day 110 of Skypoint Media. Taylor Simpson. Thanks for watching. Have a great three-day weekend. Good luck on Saturday girls varsity flag football. They play at Arborview at 2 p.m. And good luck also to our boys basketball who made playoffs.
save Lima.